What's going on guys? Christian here with Forward Momentum. On today's episode, we are going to install a Mark IV Supra clutch pedal assembly into my second gen Lexus GS. There's a lot of steps involved though, so don't get too excited. It's a very difficult install, perhaps the most difficult aspect of the whole entire manual swap. You're going to have to get creative in certain areas. You're going to have to go down to the hardware store and pick up some bolts and some nuts and some washers and all those sort of things. But eventually, you can get it to fit. The part number is here. I got it from Granis Racing. There you go. So this thing is going to mount inside of there. What you need to do is take off your panels. And I've already removed this VSC ABS ECU from its brackets. Two 10 millimeter fasteners up inside of there. What you need to do is unplug this and all of these right here. And then this thing's just gonna drop out. Then we'll have much more room to work with under there. Remove your sill so you can peel back your carpet. You need to get yourself as much room in here as you possibly can. What I'm gonna do next is this firewall insulation. I'm gonna deal with it. You unscrew this, you actually just turn it to the left. So that's what this looks like. Loosen and remove, and it should come off after that, I believe. Yeah, this is the correct one. That one right there. So this is gonna be out of the way now, which is great. Just don't go too deep into it, and then it should pop out like that, and that'll allow you to tuck it a little bit up in here. And uh, now we're just gonna be really careful. This is, you probably won't have this wire because this runs to my Apexi Neo air fuel controller. I'm just gonna kind of slice along my, my line probably a couple times here. Okay. Next. You're gonna have to deal with all this. The reason you're gonna have to deal with all this is, see how this contacts up there? There's not really a good way to get this up in there without moving that. I mean, it's, all that has got to be moved in order to support this. This wire cover has got to be destroyed and you gotta do it really carefully. And the reason you're gonna have to do that is because this whole main bundle has got to move outboard in order for the clutch pedal assembly to fit up in here. The only way to get to this is either take your dash off or pull on this and just destroy it in numerous pieces. But you gotta be careful not to jam pliers into any wires. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just purposely destroying this thing. There's a piece. This is the plastic that you have to twist and pull on up by the wire harness. And I'll show you what that looks like in here right now. So you can see that's where it was right here before and it freed up a ton of room up there. So I've gained access to this bracket that's up here and I have taken some pliers and bent it that way. And then you can see I've started to test fit the pedal in this area and you can see all the scratches on the firewall. That stud sticking out is going to be approximately the center point of where your clutch master cylinder will come through the firewall. So that's kind of a good spot to aim for. You can see that I've moved a lot of the wiring. I've also taped some up to protect it once I had access to it. It's quite the mess in here and it's a tough job. I mean they never designed the car for this. Also worth noting on this pedal assembly is where I cut it, there's a couple spots that I'm gonna cut it. Um, one I already cut right here, there's a kind of a sharp edge sticking out and it was hitting a bracket under the dashboard there. So I just cut that off. It's not really structural or anything, it'll be fine. And then in order to make this fit on that bracket I was just showing you on the video, you're gonna need to chop that metal spacer down and that'll give it a better angle uh, for the clutch pedal and how it sits next to the brake pedal. Here's 
going to need to cut away some of this firewall insulation on the inside very, very carefully. And once you cut it, you should be able to just kind of pull it. You should be able to leave your brake master cylinder in place, which is great. Okay, get your pilot hole drilled. Uh, there's going to be two layers an interior layer of the firewall and an exterior layer, so a double wall. And then what I suggest doing once you get through is to try to push something through that won't damage any wiring to kind of see where you are. So there's the skewer that is going in through the firewall. It came out in the fender well right there. Once you add a mark to your skewer on how long it is you can measure it, and then go to the store and pick up a bolt that would be long enough to fit the position. And then you should do the same thing for the other positions so that you can go to the store just one time. And that's where it's coming through. This one's gonna fasten that way. This one here, I ran it the other direction, I made a stud out of it. It's kind of standing off with a nut. So it's, I'm going to do like thread locker and all this stuff as well, because you know, we don't want this thing coming loose. So I'm going to do fastened at these two positions. There is another position, but it's pretty much impossible to get. To. So these two plus this upper right up there that I showed you earlier, that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, right now, because I have it tacked in place, I'm going to mark off the hole for where the clutch master cylinder come through the firewall. That's what I'm, that's the reason I tacked it up. I do want to point out why you need to cut this Mark IV pedal assembly because it will interfere with this otherwise. So there it is. This is a one and three eighths inch or 35 millimeter Full saw, it's a Milwaukee. I got it at um, Home Depot, it was 14 bucks. That is the size you're gonna need if you're gonna run the 80s Land Cruiser 3 4 bore Clutchmaster cylinder. I recommend thread locker on all of these connections. Okay, let's talk about this Land Cruiser Clutchmaster cylinder. You're gonna need to undo the two 10 millimeter bolts holding this fuse box and relay box uh, right here. That'll give you a lot more room to wiggle stuff around and push it down. And what's gonna happen is the hole that we previously drilled through is actually perfectly sized for this stud, but we're gonna take the stud out of this here and it's gonna run, the fastener is gonna run through the firewall, through this, and then we'll secure it with a nut this way. We're gonna have to do something on this side as well. So that is how you prep the job for this. And believe it or not, this thing will fit in there. I already test fit it and it looks great. It fits in there nicely. If you're using the Land Cruiser Clutch Master Cylinder, you're gonna to need to drill this stud from the top. And what that'll do is it'll loosen it up and it'll allow you to, I'm gonna get some pliers, but it'll allow you to unscrew that out of there because you don't want that in there. You want that to be an open hole. All right, I loosened it with some pliers. I just wanna show you what it looks like. So the, because this hole is threaded and I am using a 3 8 bolt, I'm gonna have to drill this out. Drill the hole out, and I want you guys to see how this is gonna work. This is this is gonna come through the firewall from the inside into the engine bay firewall, and it is going to be, not at this angle, but it's gonna go into there, and then we're gonna run, you know, a lock washer and a nut on that side. Due to limited space in here, it's, it's best to get this line hooked up off while this is off, and then bring that into place, with, and then just coil and stow the line until you're ready to get the rest of your swap done. Long story short, I'm doing this the hard way because I had the wrong fitting on the clutch master cylinder to begin with. So you want this that comes nicely vacuum sealed in the XAT Racing parts kit. This is a bolt. So you're gonna take this bolt, you're gonna put a washer on that bolt that is provided in the XAT kit, if you get the lines from them. And then you take the eye bolt, put that on, and then you take the washer and put that on. 
I recommend that you tighten your fitting onto this assembly because that'll allow you to go ahead and put this T onto the clutch master cylinder with this engaged and torqued down. That way you don't have to try to do that afterwards. Now, if you need more room, if you did something stupid like I did and you have to go do this afterwards, you can take this off by the two 10 millimeter bolts, unplug this first. Um, this is the ECU to your brake master cylinder. That'll give you enough room to access the Land Cruiser clutch master cylinder. And then this is gonna go on. Before you button everything up, make sure you check for interference, for wires, writing sharp areas. Also, there's a plug that is gonna need to be zip tied. So I zip tied it, I know it's hard to see. Make sure that this pedal doesn't hit anything. I mean, everything's pretty close in here. Check your wiring, make sure the spring's free and clear. And also that I know this clutch master cylinder is not hooked up right now because you need an extension on there. So I'm just showing right now how you make sure and double check everything, but it looks super close. The tolerances look close, but most of the stuff is mounted back in the standard location, even with the clutch pedal installed. So that's pretty cool. So you can push your pedal in the pull forward position and you can still drive your car around. So everything works normal. I'm gonna paint this arm black. And again, I'm waiting on the Clutchmaster Cylinder Clevis extension, which is coming in the mail. Once I get that put in, we'll get it hooked up to the pedal itself. And we'll be pretty much ready to go with this part of the installation. But I got 95, maybe 98% of it out of the way. So that is fantastic news. Thank you.